Welcome to Cocktails with T and the J's. I'm Turquoise, this is my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today I'm highly agree with. There's a lot of people in our, a lot of males in our community. Roseanne McCauley, who was killed by her estranged husband, Bobby McCauley, in Missouri. Um, Mississippi School District faces backlash after asking kids to write, be, do basically a horrible report about slavery and much more. So, um, let me go, let me one second. We good? All right. So I just want to um, read to you all what to toxic masculinity states. Okay, so it involves cultural pressures for men to behave in a certain way, and it's likely this affects all boys and men in some kind of fashion. It refers to the notion that some people ideal of meaningless domination, homophobia, and aggression. So I I do think a lot of guys, especially in our community. Um, exhibit these traits like they they have to be in control um, most of the time they can be it well okay, I'm not say most of the time but sometimes it could be aggressive um, and then all of them are homophobic like, I think the main thing about toxic masculinity is is that the reason why it's called toxic masculinity is because people feel that being a man is certain traits, whereas being a man could be any trait. Same and if thing you as being feminine. It's it's the same thing as being yeah. feminine. And if you have this idea of what you think a man is, oh, men don't cry. That's this thing that people have, that men don't cry. Yes, men do cry. And they and, should. And they should. They're human beings. If there's nothing wrong with them expressing their emotions and the fact that people try to shame men for crying, that's toxic. Yeah. And that's what toxic masculinity is. Or saying because a man is gay that he's not a man or he's somehow a female. That again is toxic masculinity and homophobia. Like the idea of what a man is is not limited to certain things that a man's characteristic would do the same for a woman being feminine mm -hmm. isn't limited to her, her, her characteristics either. Then it also play into a lot of people confuse that with sexuality too. Um, How like, do men know someone's sexuality? Men know their sexuality. Men like as if men don't have conversations about women that they've been with with each other. You know that men talk about that, and that also can be kind of toxic. Because then you're like, "Oh, I just want you to get sex. I don't care about this girl's feelings. Mm -hmm. I just want you to get sex." That's also toxic because at the same time you're gonna shame that girl like, "Ooh, she was yeah. used." And you and I'm ran gonna uh, read off too um, what's considered to be feminine: um, sensitivity, sweetness, being supportive, um, being gentle. Showing, yeah, like you just basically that you you care that look that you are here, yeah, yeah. Showing any kind so, of emotion, so, basically, it's sad. Yeah, go ahead. Cry and they they go ahead. Go ahead. Mom, 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 yeah, I was just saying that I think all of that is toxic. Hold I on, think. what the baby gonna do if the man is always crying? But it's a man doesn't always have oh, to hey, cry. Um, Maurice. Hey, bro. Hey, hey Reese. Hey, hey thank Leland. you guys for joining us. Hi, Leland. Hey, um, Miss Annette. But if the, a, a man doesn't always have to cry, but a man crying is not a bad thing. And I want you, if you have a stressful day as a man at work, uh, Leland, I'm going to address this to you since you asked that, asked that question. If you are having a stressful day at work and then you just, your emotions you, you boil over down. and you break down, wouldn't you? say you're not a man because you're a human being and had an emotional break. And then that frustration, that pent up frustration, you'll lash out on somebody um, at, in the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. In the wrong way. You have to let it out some kind of way. And yeah, and I, crying, I is, is, cry. crying <laughs> is very violent. therapeutic. You feel a relief after you cry and then you're done with whatever the situation is. You find a way to move on yeah. from that particular situation. And I think that's good for men and women to cry. 
And then, uh, one thing that kind of made me want to bring up this topic is on the show Grownish. Um, one of the friends on that show ended up having a, a threesome, it, a man, and he has a girlfriend that had a threesome with a guy. He kissed the guy, but he did not go any further than that. He was highly uncomfortable. Yeah, he said he didn't enjoy and it. And so, the other two male characters on the show made this huge deal about it, calling him gay. And he's like, trust me, I'm not gay. And then they start bringing up topics like, you would never catch a man eating a banana because it, 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 it reflects on yeah. something else, something sexual. A, a guy should drink out of a straw. And then, uh, yeah, it was just like, that's the thing that you put you put something in your mouth, yeah. make them look like they yeah. can. Yeah, and I was like, what? That's ridiculous. Oral. That is cool. And then, that um, is ridiculous. someone, a female on the show, a white female on the show, explained to the friends, like, hey, you're proud and to she's be. Bi uh, she's bisexual. You're proud to be a, a black guy. you proud that you date black women. But you had your little hiccup when you dated a Cuban. Does that not make you a strong black man any longer? Or does that not make you like black women anymore? And he's like, no, I still like black men. She said, that's the same with him. He, the guy that kissed the other guy just had, it was just a moment. He's trying he's not gay. something. Yeah, new. he's not gay and they should be able to move past it. But I definitely think that in our community, there should be conversations like this between a father and a son or a, a brother and, you know, men, brother and men. Because I think that's, reason for um, them being so close and nobody speaks to them about it and they don't want to talk to a female about it because they don't want to look weak right. you know what I mean I'm like it's okay to let that kind of stuff out just like on um, the breakfast club DJ Envy was saying how they don't have those conversations in barbershops you'll never catch them talking about um, how good of a father they are or how good of a husband they are it's more so talking about sports and you know uh, just everything else except for being family, family oriented. Not serious. Yeah, so. nothing serious. And mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, I always thought that being in a barbershop, you have, people have those conversations to where... They it, call it their therapy session. Yeah, yeah, but is it really? Are you talking about it's sports? Mm -hmm. yeah, you know no, what I mean? Not. It's, you it's, have, it's and there's deeper issues. Things that you enjoy, really. It's That's what it seems like. I mean, me personally, but... Uh, we have a comment that I want to address. Lena said there's a difference yeah. between frustrating cry and then someone always crying. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. There is a difference between a uh, frustrating cry where you just have to let it out sometimes and somebody that just feels just like the world is against them all the time. Yes, there is a difference between that. And yes, there are a lot of guys that are like that where it's the woe is me and they won't try to do anything for themselves. I'm not referring to those men. I'm just saying it's not... There's not anything wrong with a man showing emotion. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think that's right for women either. I could reverse that and say a woman crying all the time. What was me? You know, get it together, sis. You know, I'm not gonna sit up here and coddle you every day. Eventually, you're gonna have to do something to get yourself better. Women can cry and still take care of this. No, I'm saying, but I'm not. I'm, I'm referring to the people, which I think this is what he was referring to. Those people that always whine and don't do nothing to oh, help themselves. You know what? Never mind. I'll, I, in case some of my people are watching. Um, okay, certain situations I can say, um, like even at work, you know, a lot. Some people, something that may not break me down breaks them down. Yeah. Like I just like I gotta get it done. I gotta get it done. I'm not gonna sit there and cry about it and just just keep it moving. When they all sit there and cry until somebody yeah, else do the work. And then we would say, black men know the pressure of being black is enough. Those other things is added pressure. Well, knowing that, that is more, should be more motivation for you to want to do better. Because that means you have to work twice as hard as mm -hmm. the average person. And knowing that you have those strikes against you. Then I can't say, don't put down... The black women don't put down the other black men, and, yeah. you know, um, around also because you have to support they, each other. Yeah, like, tearing yeah. each other down does nothing yeah. for the community. Yeah, no crabs in the um, barrel scenarios. You guys, yeah, basically just gotta take care of each other. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> um, anything else to say on that topic? Well, that I feel like the toxic toxic masculinity leads into, into, into the. Coley. Yes, she um, was a graphic designer. She was on social media a lot. I've crossed uh, paths with her 
uh, before in you know comments on Facebook and stuff. And just yesterday, she posted a video of her um, uh, thirteen-year-old son, you know, saying, "Hey, if I make this shot, you gotta give me ten dollars for Roblox." Cute video, and not even twenty-four hours. Her, him, and her daughter dead because mm. her ex-husband, or soon-to-be ex-husband, what's funny is that he filed from divorce from her. She left him because he was abusing her and beating her. Mm. And so she finally left. And you know, when people talk about domestic violence, it's harder for a woman being abused to leave than it is for her to stay because when you leave that really sets them off and that's basically one of these cases here she was moving on a bit better things and taking care of her kids and it's just all gone in a flash because of a man's ego because of toxic masculinity and him feeling like how dare you be want to move on and be happy without me i won't let that happen and takes her and her child's life, and these were not his children. Mm. These, the two children of hers that he killed were children that belonged to another man, and she had a child with him that he kidnapped. But in the end, when the cops finally found him, he ended up taking his own life, and now that child. He should have killed I feel, I feel like that was yeah. the easy yeah. way yeah. 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 should have let that when woman and her children never took yeah. yourself off, period. I would have just That's killed myself, saying, yeah. because you should never take somebody else's life. You know, if you that upset, take your own life. But over a, a breakup, though. But he, you like, said he was divorcing her. He did. He fell from divorce from her, and I feel like because she. He's talking about <laughs> because we have moved on. But I'm just saying stuff like this really, really bothers me, and this is what like turns me off of you know, having relationships and, and it also reminds me of a post I saw of a man saying, Hey, advice to men, you know, be good to her, show her that you're she you can be her knight in shining armor armor for the first couple months and then just cut her off and start treating her bad and that'll make her want to stay. Like all well, of this abusive ass shit that I keep seeing and, and then to hear this story, it just broke my that's heart. So Ill, her her right son there. reminded me of my son seeing that video of him so happy to make his shot. To this woman and her children, and it's way too common. It happens way. But then too you have to remember, they up there looking at God now. I bet you he wishes. Oh, you that was her husband. Oh, we were going to talk about that. Uh, Jean Stother, thank you for bringing that up. Leave it. I'm sorry, but we'll Go finish ahead. your point. I, I wasn't saying that. That was the mirror. That was husband. her husband. We were talking oh, wow. about it on the car when we went to get the food. Uh, Jean Stother, the mayor of uh, Omaha, Nebraska. She. Her, there was a man found dead in her house today. It turns out it was her husband and he committed suicide. Oh, Molly wow. Todd of her lying ass. She the mayor. I don't like yeah. her. Yeah. Wow. She's the one who her. made us with the one trash can. And she the one keep on fighting with the... Uh, she using all that money to fight yes. against him. Because uh, he should get his job back. Fireman. One of these firemen. Yeah. yeah. He should get his job back. But she's using all the state's money fighting lawyers with him so he don't get his job back. This is the crazy ass shit that's going on in the world. It's crazy. You know why? Because she's one of them white supremacists. We, we didn't know like it, the, she's the a white supremacist. I didn't know that was her husband. People, that's don't, crazy. people don't know but she is. She's no, a I, thought that was, I thought that was strange to like just a random person. It's like yeah, a random person who died in her house. Yeah. Like, it had to be somebody related to her or something. But yeah, thanks for that info because we've been we were gonna talk about that later, but we didn't know who the man uh, was. He ran over a pothole. Probably. I told you that's what somebody said. He ran over a pothole and crashed into the building. No, I heard he like committed suicide. He could probably saw. He Where are y'all putting all of that money? They put millions of dollars in into that sell. attorney <laughs> so that guy don't get his job back so instead they, of fixing them straight. That's why I'm telling they you, she's a white supremacist. And when it's time to follow her that video, out, her arguing with that dude, she tried to make fun of his name. Her and the other, and the bald headed guy. 
They all for Trump. Uh, Rick, uh, Rick, yes. Rick, they all yeah, with yeah. Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Know and you know Trump there's is. not a mask mandate here anymore because they trying to, because you know how Biden wanted the mask mandate to. Well, a lot of places require a mask. But you know what? They're going to change that. But you to have a all mask. of us black people, if we don't care if they say you don't don't have to wear a mask, still wear your mask. Wear your mask, protect because yourself and your Because we're family. the ones dying, not them. Because they getting them shots before us and everything. You know, that's the I honestly declined that vaccine. Well, shot. you did, but they asked me. I'll take it. Ask me. I don't know what's in it. And I ain't, no. I, uh -uh. I just no want to see if it really works. I don't want to wake up one day and have three arms and, and missing an eye. Like, I don't know what's in it. Well, ask me. I'll be y'all guinea pig. Y'all want to use me for a guinea pig for everything else? Use me for that shot. So, um, okay, so back to what we were saying. You said that he ended up committing suicide. Yes. Where's the, where's the baby? Uh, in uh, family's custody. Surviving family. Oh, he didn't kill his baby. No, but he killed her other two children. Ain't that some, that's some well, terrible ass shit. I swear that just scares me off of you what the date or the man that's just right terrible. Right now, and then that you makes you not want to date. That but makes women more not want to date. To live. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to date now because but you know how like crazy that. somebody you, is. And then somebody just like I told you to do said pretend to be good. Pretend to be this the first few months and then all of a sudden show your true but color. We can do that shit too. We could pretend to be say, good. I better watch out because they don't bring to the wrong woman. Like on Thin Lines from Love and Hate. You know what? Well, well, Martin was the villain in that movie, not her, because she said, "If you're not serious, leave me." No, but alone. I'm saying That's they could saying. end up getting that yeah. if you try to treat somebody. But better. they made her the villain in the movie, though. But yeah. Pressure. What's pressure, Leland? There, every, there's pressure for everything, but how you respond. I would never, to kill, I would never kill somebody. I would never. If, yeah, if I, I would felt never like I couldn't do it, I think I would. If I wanted to, I don't even think I'd kill myself though. I'd rather just sit here and do yeah, that. Yeah, that would that would that would take a, a lot of strength to mm -hmm. do. Not me. Child. Sorry, that's a comment from Lee. Don't speak on it. But so it's pressure and getting the vaccine. Oh. It's probably population control too. That's probably what COVID was not playing. I mean, but some vaccines do work. I mean, vaccines you know what? are a good, a good thing. I was going to say, nobody wants to take the Johnson & Johnson. It may be the best vaccine to take, and people won't give it a chance. Is the most efficient but one. that's not true zero people went to the hospital once you got the J&J &J shot and zero people uh, really had bad symptoms and so to me that's out you I can see that but hey Ma I support you if you want to get it I I'm sure going to get it I'm, just, gonna I'm gonna it to watch because I'll who, take it who take it and then if I see good results then I'll take it too you know, I'm not against vaccines. I'm not. I've have taken them my whole life for school. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to tell us more about that story about the grandmother. Yeah, we're well, not I'm, aware I'm, of that. I'm trying to pull it up and I'm not seeing anything. I'm trying to Yeah, I'm not aware of it. Because I watched the news and I'm trying to think that I see anything about the grandmother. Because I see a lot of stuff. Okay, but we could, uh, while we're waiting for Leland, who looks like he's one of our co-hosts, <laughs> just giving us topics, thank you. Um, so the baby, oh my gosh, so he was written a house, the baby, the rapper, was written a house from a 65-year-old man or 64-year-old man. Old. And it was like 40-something people and they for a video, video. shoot. Mm -hmm. And the guy shows up and apparently the baby punched him, knocked out, knocked out his tooth, uh, which that part was not recorded. But they showed his friend um, like pushing the, the guy down to the ground and you know, he's facing a lawsuit because of it. First off, the baby gets in a lot of trouble. He, he gets in a lot of a like, confrontation. And, the, and Why it's do we ridiculous. call himself the baby? Because he's Cause not he the youngest. He's like a giant baby what with some big teeth. What do you say in that song? He's the youngest, but he... he 
down. That's not good, Uh But something happened that totally changed my life, check. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, but be that noise. I'm sorry. Um, Inside joke, people. Mm -hmm. I mean, to go with my train of, train of thought. But, first off, the man was older and you're on his property. Like right. how more disrespectful can you get? But they rented the this way. But still the guy's okay, property. Okay, I, I, I know. Though, but look, the property. Okay, but listen. This the baby was wrong. Don't get me wrong. He was wrong. But when people rent something to you, how they gonna tell you what to do on the inside of the home once you didn't rented it? I would have never went over there. He knew what he was dealing with, little gangsters. Why didn't he just call the police? Gangsters. He I mean, he should have just called the police. Rapper. He don't know eight or nine people was in there and it was only him. But that's his home. I yeah. know. No, no that wasn't Sorry. his home. That was a rental place of his. It they don't rent you their it, home. He owns, he owns it, Nisi, but they own it to make money. And what yeah. he did, he took his money. And they're gonna try to tell him what to do on the inside. Well, it that's was every, wrong. every landlord. When you find a when you find a lease, you okay, can't but, have pets. You can't smoke. But that's some bull crap because they don't put that stuff on the lease until after you done gave him the deposit. That shit wrong. So after you done gave up your money and then they want you to lose your money. And then the baby, he rich, he could have. I'm saying he could have he, he he wrong. He, 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 he could have paid the fine. Yeah. He wrong, but he should have just been honest with the guy and said, I want to shoot a video here. I want to rent it. It's for a video. It's going to be like 40, 50 people here. He yeah. knew the man wasn't going to rent it to him if he said that, but it's best to be honest. It is all uh, honesty. And is then, but key. again, the man is older. And like he was the baby. He age. didn't act old when he came up there strutting. He seen all them thugs out there and he came strutting like they was going to listen to him. Because right. he knows that's his property, and if he, all he had to do he was make one phone call. What's that show? Okay, listen. Once he you take somebody, all the cops and they were going to shine. Okay, like, oh, but, uh, but listen. The cops. Once you done rent that property out and took them people money, you can't come and up in there and start telling them what to do. Yeah, he could have gave them back his money. He could have. Well, he didn't have, I didn't see him have, have no check in his hand to give to baby. Did they gave him a chance. They knocked him in, too, though. That's because he came up there talking shit. Um, but I disagree with what they did, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying how people want to rent you their property and charge you all this money, and then they want to set certain rules on you. I get it. I get what you're saying. Um, Leland, thank you so much for finding the article. I appreciate you. And I'm going to say it was in Omaha. Oh. Um, police in Omaha say the grandmother of a child who died at a hospital last October has been arrested in his death. Oh, it was a baby. Yes. Police announced on Friday in a news release that 40. and neglect residing in, in the death of 20 month year old Esan Star. Police say that's not the only one. Mm -hmm. That's not the only one. Remember the two year old they found in the closet? Like, and he died at the hospital. It was like the mom boyfriend. He went running when the cops came and found the body. That yeah. happened like last week. I think I see. Hey, that. dude. Anthony. Hey, dude. Thanks for tuning in. That's, that's devastating. That um, is. I can never understand harming a child and then I'm not sure the, the full story even if it was an accident like sis or something like that and she took the baby to the house I wonder I don't have to dig into that story a little bit more because yeah, what if I she too. yeah because what if something happened that wasn't her fault and the baby passed you know unless dies. he had injuries like the two-year-old that I'm talking about he had blunt force trauma mm -hmm. in his head well, that's injuries different. to his oh, torso so he had two story. black eyes yeah that's I different I don't know. I was just referring to this story, like, you never know what really um, happened. I can never harm a child. Yeah, yeah. I love I babies could, and children. They're I so never, innocent. Like, hit, I couldn't harm an animal. I could never hit a, a baby, a, a kid. I could, no, I just, I can never starve a child. I don't understand that. Like, uh, the young man, the Netflix series that they did, that special on. Oh, the, uh, the Rodriguez boy. Yes, the uh, mom in California, and they had been torturing him for mm -hmm. the long because they thought he was, was gay. gay. Yeah, mm. like how how do you have the heart to to do something like Why that? Why do people think movie? they have the right to say once a person or a child is here, you are supposed to just try to raise and them. love them and, and, love, them. and love them. And love them. You, you let them choose what they pass on. Be that Uh, turn if you don't want to be a, a parent 
or a grandparent. You don't have to be involved. There's always adoption options. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people can uh, have babies and will yeah, love their child. Yeah, yeah. love them. Gay, know, straight, or otherwise. Yes, mm -hmm. there's uh, other options out there. Don't kill it. Don't murder a kid. Yeah, I don't get that. Just because they even have no, safe haven places where you can drop a kid off. Like, hey, I can't take her and release the child to have a chance. I seen this thing, but this mother walked off. Now she had her, I guess they all, they were homeless. She had her daughter walk, she was four years old, walking. It was cold, left the baby and she wouldn't stay in a homeless shelter, left that baby on the street. Oh, wow. Well, somebody picked up the baby and took the baby to safety, but she just getting out of jail today. But what she don't need to get out of jail. They shouldn't have let her out. And she got out on her own with Carter. She better not be trying to get she that She can't go back. nowhere near the baby. Oh, yeah. It was oh, sad. They nice had her turn. walking with the baby, waiting for her to get across the street, and then she just. Well, I could never, that never. Even like, really if it, and, and, and it bothers me that it seems like a lot of people say, well, it's not my kid, it's not my kid. I'm like, I can do that to any kid. If I saw a kid walking on the street and they diaper is cold as hell outside, I'm going to bring that child in with me. I'm like, are you okay? Because you're your supposed parents? to look out for the children. Yeah, like, it's not like they fault their parents for trash. If you sit up there and abuse a child and you pass away, don't think God gonna forgive you for that. And even if that's not your kid, you don't have to take care of it. Just mm -hmm. take it to safety. Yeah. yeah, you, you want to take, take care of the baby most vulnerable. That's the baby can't take something. care of itself. That was you mean. don't have to take that care was mean of it. That was me. What that girl did? She had on a coat because it was cold, and the baby didn't have on nothing but a little sweater. That is oh. terrible. Like something like what I got on. That is terrible. And walking her, so they show her, and then you know cameras is everywhere. I was thankful because somebody if got I was the baby rich, I swear. Baby. If I yeah. was rich, I would adopt a bunch That's of so kids. That's so sad. Because I love children, and they're innocent. To me, women should either use problem. birth control if they don't want no kids, or keep their damn legs closed. Guys too. Yeah. Guys don't well, have you to know, I done them. told y'all when it comes to a guy and children, they don't care. It's always the mother that usually care. But if you're not the type of person that love kids, don't have none. Period. I blame it on the woman because you can take birth control. Like, these kids that have been killed by these men, I, I do feel a little like moms, y'all could on your children. Like, don't let these men, just because, I, I hate that some women are so desperate for love that they'll just take anything, even at the detriment of their own children. And I remember a story a long time ago, too, where the mom was letting the boyfriend watch her kids while she worked in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. I saw yeah. that, too. Yeah. It's like, uh-uh. Even, even if I trust the guy I'm dating, I don't trust. I would never leave my daughter mm -hmm. with that person. Never. Unless my child knows some self defense and kick your I would, ass. even if that, I, would still, I wouldn't. I just <laughs> but he was still. But you know, I'm. You know what I'm saying. You know, yeah, I, I just wouldn't. Because my child can. Once my child can speak and tell me everything, you I know, still I wouldn't leave the vulnerable. Yeah, I still wouldn't leave my yeah, child. I wouldn't leave the vulnerable. With Especially with anybody. somebody. You don't too much want to leave them with their father, so you definitely mm -hmm. ain't gonna want to leave them with a boyfriend. Of course not. I would, I've never, never, I would never, never, never trust never. nobody never. to do I don't care. I don't like care if they are twenty. Like, uh, come on, girl, come with this stuff. <laughs> like, I would, I, I just agree. wouldn't. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. And then um, you mentioned those who are um, more vulnerable. Maybe those who um, aren't able to speak. Yes, exactly. Uh, in my line of work, I deal with that all the time, and there's um, clues that I pick up on. Um, for those who are nonverbal, if they touch themselves a lot, I question it. Like, where is that behavior coming from? Um, and you usually they, be right most yeah, of the time that yep, something be happening. Yep. So even those who are nonverbal, still, there's still they, there's ways signs. that they can communicate, hey, this is going on. If they cry when a certain person comes around, they refuse to work with a certain person. I just just always pop in my head what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leland said, We just want the poo nanny. The woman can have the baby. Oh, well, Leland. Didn't I tell y'all well, how men is? Leland is a, a typical guy. Leland, well, oh, Leland, you got my mom. But, but see, this is the thing. He's men a like that, guy. the men that say stuff like that also be complaining, oh, she gave me some child support. I, I get $100 out of my check because I got all of these but kids you don't and take they take all my money. But you wouldn't want to be around your, your child. You want to be around some something that you help create. I just, but how is... 
vagina more important than someone else. Matters too. I feel like men is that one few seconds of pleasure. And I you can jack off and get that. And I do mean few right. seconds. Mm -hmm. You can jack off and get that not risk impregnating anybody. Mm -hmm. That's true. Having the kids, he sure be talking a lot of shit. Let me you know. know. That kind of stuff. Oh, we ain't even got her story. Uh, if your kids see or ever hear this, because it's gonna be on Facebook forever, <laughs> your kids will be offended that you said that. I just couldn't. Even if, it's, even if I was the type of girl that just had to have sex, 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 and I got pregnant, I would bad. still take care it's of so my right kid. Up. I wouldn't be like, oh, this only wanted to have, you know, five minutes of play. Really? Really? It really, it really is. It really is. <laughs> Does anything a man can do for you, you can do it for yourself. Ain't they that the truth? They make Ain't candy that, coat. Why you think candy make and candy like coat? Said, like I said before, there's other ways. There's always a way. Other ways. You, you don't there's have to. You especially if they can lie with like other people said. where you don't have fluids mixed in and then Yeah, other. but especially if they that conniving where they say you just speaking be nice. in general, just something to fire y'all up. Oh, you yeah, yeah, fire me up. up. You, you fire me up. Sure. up. You did it. You know. Andy and her code at night. So, oh, 11 no. women has come forward now with the tiny and TI situation. Sexually assaulting them. I'm gonna just tell as freaky as Candy is, it wouldn't but surprise you know me. They all did this together. But listen, so Candy defended them, didn't she? She said she wasn't gonna speak up. Yeah, she just ain't speaking up. But Candy, listen, they all friends. I'm gonna tell you something about Tanya and Ti. Versa, what is it? Versa? Uh, no, no, don't candy. even go there. No, I love me some candy. And I love me some candy. I ain't even going that route with y'all. I'm gonna tell you like this. It's too many people in the world that's freaky and whatever. T.I. and them don't need to rape nobody. They can hire people. Women open up their legs, party like the Red Sea, to get a piece of T.I. or somebody with some money. mentioned from like 2005, 2018. He was a lot more sex than he is now. Anyway, so he probably, didn't need, he probably didn't need to drug nobody. All the damn time, it's too many people out there. You say that could also be you voluntarily took some kind of molly. Well, no, what they saying is that tiny is the oh, one that kept giving them the drinks. Thing. Well, they saying they're tiny, and that's why they trusted them. Okay, why you wait 10, 15, 20 years, whatever. That's too many years. If somebody did something to you, why when they let you go, you didn't run straight to the police department because you didn't have. Because some people respond to things differently. Yeah, but, but I do think it is. And most of the time, Ti was on probation. So why are you scared of him? He, he was on hire probation. people. Hire people, my ass. He ain't never hired nobody. Think about nobody. the elite and the rich. They have to. Sound like them crazy people because you know why? <laughs> I'm just saying that because if he got money, what do you need to break y'all for? He can go get some decent hookers. You could also reverse that and say somebody with money could rape women and know that he's going to have people defending him because mm -hmm. he's elite. And makes but you got to look at, y'all got to quit letting people. I'm not that, saying that he's guilty. I'm just saying you, you never, never know. know. That you is true. Know. You don't never know. It's like the same thing like you mentioned with the Bill Cosby. Yeah, All those exactly. women just came out of uh, you know, all the But you know, and that's what these same and, thing were R. Kelly. But yeah. I'm just saying. Oh, we know he what married this. Aaliyah. We knew what he I'm was on. But we life. knew about R. Kelly and nobody said he nothing. But he could have been down for a prostitute. T.I. and Bill Cosby in the same category as R. Kelly because for the simple fact to me, Bill Cosby, when he was young, he didn't need to break nobody. All the white women opened up, and then 20 years later, when he old, well, like Beverly Jones, Beverly Jones said she hung out with him, and he offered her tea, and she started feeling some type of way she was belligerent from the drugs. Mm -hmm.
It, right after it happened that it happened. Well, she said it, it right crazy. after. As soon as yeah. people said she was crazy, she but said, no, this man drugged my tea. But and you know why they didn't react the way he expected? Because she acted like she was but drunk. But they did her like that fight. because she was a black woman and didn't want to. But I bet you one of them white women would have said something. They would have put him in jail a long time ago. I don't think he touched you. He might have did. Know, but he might have did her like that. But I, did you, Janet, what's her name, Dickerson? Is that her name? Janet to Dickerson. Always, no, what the hell? She always been ugly. What do you need to write her for? Well, she was nice looking when she was young. Nice she looking was, my she, ass. She, she always like Gia, looked like a, the original Gia. She looked like a man. I'm just saying but uh, I agree with what Leland said. He said that's look, it's looking bad for T.I. and Tiny. Some people it's don't like the willing. Someone. They want to dominate individuals. That's, true, that's yeah. so true. Like That's what happened with Harvey Weinstein. He was doing this to celebrities. He got away with it for years because people were working in his films, making money off of him. So he could do whatever the hell he wanted because they know that he knew they needed a job. And so these people were letting this shit go on for years. Yeah. People like to dominate people when they know they have some kind of power believe, over you. I, I just can't believe that. And that's probably why a lot of people don't come forward too. Because they know they're going to be yeah. questioned. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. You look better coming forward at the time than, later. than 20, 30 years later because even if they did something 20, 30 years ago, their time should have been served like it be for white, excuse me. Pardon my French, like it does for white people though. But you could also say like the elite because eventually things caught up. Things caught up to Harvey Weinstein. They Dark comes to light. And I don't that's think that all these women will just, just lie, lie about it. But why not lie? When it's a growing why? number, I can understand I mean, if they get one or two people, but when it adds up to 10, 15, uh -huh. 20, that you have to kind of look like something is not right here. Well, and, it, and it used to be rumors too all the time saying that they yeah, were really there was, free. Uh, and it, oh, and the Nicole Scherzinger. She did the girl, the lead singer of the uh, Pussy Cat Dog. She said that she, uh, when one of the girls said Ti and Tiny, uh, they were like doing a talk show, and one of the girls was like Ti and Tiny, they had invited me somewhere, and he said, she said, I bet you that's not all they were inviting you to. And she had did a song with Ti not too long ago, basically saying how they like to get girls to come back to their hotel or go back to their house with them so they can do stuff. Well, but, so what they when, that don't mean they're gonna break no. And then when he uh, was even on time, me and everybody was like, "Why should Glenn have threesomes all the time?" So what? Just I like them. I, to me, I like to them. Me, them. anybody I that's but doing they can be, what they can be they be be How many people? But that doesn't mean that what he's doing. But I'm just saying, right? turkeys, they family people. They on they, the surface. They they family family. The people, Charles Manson's people were a family. <laughs> they considered themselves family when they went in that woman's house and killed her. If I, family dynamics has nothing to do with it at they, all, I don't believe it. I like T.I. And a lot of murders actually had no okay, family. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't say murders because it's, it's not the same scenario. But a lot of mur murders for real come from good they families. Put, they said that Ted Bundy was the ideal nice guy. <laughs> he was the ideal bachelor. What color was Ted Bundy? Then that but one guy too, the... the what about when the guy the ran out? Yes. yes. The the women. Women. All those women. And on the, the circus, he the the, No, no, the guy that they just did the Netflix special. Oh, no, the... Uh, the really uh, cute... Ramirez. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ramirez. He was on a day and showing on the surface. He looked like regular guys. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. But even <laughs> after they found out who he was, he had women coming into court begging to be with him. He had a fan base. That's what I mean by see how the world is. You know he's a murderer, and you want you do want to be with him. Come on, he looks it's good. people like that. that he was nice calls. looking, but I'll, 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 oh I'll, no, he was not. They all oh, don't know he was not. Manson. Lena uh, said the young lady was raped at 15 at um, North High. It took her until she got grown to report the crime. That happens sometimes. That happens when sometimes. When it's 15 of y'all and they And then he said they it. may be a target too. That's true, Mom Dukes, is what he said. That's true. Okay, like, okay, y'all. He, he said they may be a target. I, I'm, I'm telling you, it's going to come out. 
It's gonna but come if out. there are more people and then if more evidence comes out, you can't deny Stop it. Stop the hiding. Do you have evidence for 20 and 30 years ago? 15, even 15 years ago. What kind of evidence do you have? Stuff. Text messages? You never oh, know. You can, oh, you can pull up. Well, I like to see it because I think she's full of shit. I'm just saying. All 15, a, all 15 of y'all. All 11. 15, 20, all 11, 10, 11. 10, all of y'all. <laughs> full of shit. And that's why people don't come forward, though. That ain't why, because you know what's going on. But that's your personality. But yeah. I would come forward right away. I wouldn't wait. You but that's your personality. I'm too embarrassed or yeah, just think. I really can't handle it, but I may like I can. I be doing a lot of faking. You can't wait to tell somebody this happened to me, god damn it, and I feel like I deserve to be hurt. Whereas some people will close up and feel reserved and want to isolate I'm one of those she had people. I'm people. around her kids. I cannot figure that out. Well, aside from her, that, there's eleven other women. Okay, well how many have her how kids around? How you hours. know? The pictures, they, they ain't the pictures ain't came out yet. And, most, and some of them girls were but, younger than And then you got to remember, they, they ain't telling nobody's name. It was back in like 2005. I'm pretty sure they didn't They ain't telling nobody's it. name. So how in the hell do y'all know what they like? All the people that's going against T.I. and Tiny. One girl's in the Navy. Yeah. That's a stand-up citizen you ask me. <laughs> you know what? Not really, because the Navy, it looked like they were raping, too. The Navy Army that stormed the Capitol. And they, and they, and they raped people, and killed, too. Well, listen, that's just people, yeah, in, that's that's people in general. Yeah, it's people in general. I agree okay. with that. But T.I., Tiny. I mean, look who our president Candy, was. Candy, I got y'all back. I don't care what they say. I don't believe All you. Candy doing a good know. job by not giving a response because... Uh, Oh, how freaky she is who will give her the You know what? Yeah. Just because Candy is Everybody sexual that she married to her husband and end up got that dungeon because Portia lied. Don't hate Candy for making it. But Candy, it. yeah, she flipped it. She made it to yeah. the business. Don't hate her for doing that. Oh, I don't, I don't hate but her. But that's what that. people say when they start she talking about she she's a She did because that whole she little took lemonade to make lemonade. Even though she wasn't the one like really interacting with uh, Dolo, that whole thing made me uncomfortable. I was watching that. Turkey Turkey was like, like, close your I don't curls. know why they recorded that. That made me uncomfortable. They had yeah. cameras. It's off them cameras. They're going to find a way to see They're not off. They know they all on the porch. Everybody ain't going to tell the, the same lie. Like that is true. That's true. That's why I say when more and more people come out, you start to question, why would they all say the same thing? Uh, stop saying everybody ain't going to tell the same lie. Didn't Trump have all his people tell a lie about voting? How many was it? Millions. So don't well, say everybody no, ain't tell no the same truth. lie. I'm just saying. That's a hell of a lot different than people saying, hey, I was sexually assaulted. Well, yeah, that's something. Really I just wouldn't wait no 20, 30 years to go to the police. I just wouldn't. I feel you, Mom. But anyway, no, no. I'm one of them people that will probably be too embarrassed, and I'll probably want to say that for years and yeah. years. So it, it's uh, it's a personal thing, really. It's, yeah. It's what you can bear and what you can handle. Because sometimes you worry about the scrutiny. Sometimes mm -hmm. you worry about the judgment. But uh, their best time to go on. Because what could he have done? But he was already in jail, so why didn't they say it then? You know what I'm saying? He was in so much trouble. He better not had a cough too hard to us. They was gonna put him back in jail. I don't believe that. You know, some things. I just say everybody think. ain't as strong as you, my dude. I said I just she be faking is, it. I is, just be faking strong. it. Yeah, I make sure that I go home and be like. <laughs> I like to talk a lot of stuff, She's strong. I like to talk a lot. She, she was, was that strong? strong? Ooh, damn, well, that was hard. Y'all see that? <laughs> was that strong? I remember I said, oh, Lord, Jesus, turn that nation. You were Everybody help me. Oh, yeah, my God. You were afterwards. And once everything and subsided, exactly you were like, oh, I never did nothing like that. So my mom, she, you know, you can say, my yeah. mom, she, uh, she has, you know, health conditions and last Saturday, I yeah. think it was, um, her legs just locked up and she was crushing she was really bad. She was screaming for my sister. She was me. I was screaming for Jesus. Uh, she was calling for God. Everybody, I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do. And so, I just started massaging her like so, crazy. 
me, my daughter, my nephew, we run out my room. We go downstairs, me and my sister start massaging her legs and her thighs and her butt and everything. But we <laughs> all over her. Then she said she was better, right? But we all just, we could we, not sleep. We, could we all, sleep. all like, kind of stood in the cut like it's yeah. She fell face forward between the couch and her to the ER and um, it was really, really scary. Then the next day she was up trying to cook catfish and <laughs> I'm yeah. like, you don't know, sit down. Okay, they say a lot of things is wrong with me. Exercise. The exercise, goddammit, I cramp up. That yeah. don't make no sense. You double talking. You tell me exercise, don't walk so much. Walk too much. Do this, do that. I'm so confused, you know. But if I go to God like I did, I'll be just fine. I just got to go to him more often. That was a, a crazy was, That was the worst. I never, I never felt nothing like that. like that even having babies. That was yeah, the worst thing ever. Her hands, hands were locked, locked up. up. Like her hands, uh, like yeah. her hands to massage her hands back to normal. It was really scary. Yeah, it was the worst thing ever. Drink pickle juice. Leland, drink water. Pickle juice, pop. Is to it. And she be dude, she takes vitamins. I do. She, she does a lot. Uh, I take stuff. every kind of vitamin you want to name for bone yeah. health, yeah. everything. Whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, she she's definitely been keeping up on her meds and drinking fluids. It's just it's not helping her. It's not. Because they waited too long. See, that's what I'm talking about. Waiting too week. long. They waited 10, 15 years. Now I'm all fucked. Boy, that can't help me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Last weekend was the worst. I never I never felt yeah. Vitamins and fluids. Um, and uh, Carlton just tuned in. Hi, Carlton. Um, um, any last final words? No. Um, From anyone? Don't be, no, yeah, don't be afraid to cry. I was playing. Don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to show your emotion. No, because I yeah. know I was showing yeah. every emotion when I was yeah. locked up. Wrong with it. But also, you don't let out that frustration. Of don't that to happen to none of you. No, no. So thank you all for tuning in for those who did. We're about to get crunk. It's my birthday weekend. Yay! Oh, Yay. happy heavenly happy birthday, birthday. Happy happy birthday. birthday. will be Sunday. Sunday and then my mom's will be the 16th but we, we'll have a few more shows we're gonna be turning up all um, weekend but I don't care what nobody say either my grandpa's birthday is today